go see Siobhan. I mean, she's worried about me. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what is it? Um, okay, you need to sit down. No, 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 I'm steady just, now, Elizabeth. No, listen, I, I, I'm fine. The medicine you gave me is helping. Sit down. But I'm okay to walk. Why? Okay, that was an accident. What, what kind of accident? A car accident. Siobhan was thrown from a car. What? She, she's alive, but she's hurt pretty bad. Oh, no, I, I just got a message from her. She, are you sure? I was driving the car she was in. I said, what are you doing? Clean it up. I had to move the machine over so I can get and hear him up. Oh, you shouldn't be touching the machines. Unless you're authorized to treat patients. And I know the basics. You don't flip the switches, you don't pull the plug. You finished? Yep. Careful on the floor. Wouldn't want you to slip. Siobhan doing in your car? I was taking her to the hospital. Why? It, it, it's not important right now. Yeah, Marky. no, no, it, no it what's is. important is that you're alive and she's alive, and let's just focus on that. Elizabeth, I know you. I know when you're avoiding something. Just tell me what happened to Siobhan. I, I ran into her when I was looking for you. She saw your shoes in my bag and the medicine. She put two and two together and she wanted to know where you were. Okay, and what did you tell her? I told her the truth. I didn't know what else to do. She kept accusing me of, of lying and trying to ruin your marriage just so I could have you all to myself. And then what? I told her that I found you in the alley and that someone had shot you up with drugs. And she wanted to know why I didn't call her. And why, why didn't you? Because you asked me not to. You said I was the only one you could trust, and you begged me not to say anything else. I don't, I don't remember. Siobhan said she was up all night, worried sick about you, and that as your wife, she had the right to know. But I told her that I was just, I was trying to help you and protect you, and at that moment, I was the only one who could. And that, of course, made things worse because it just made her feel shut out. Like she doesn't belong in your life. Just finish this up. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, did you find Lucky? No. No, but Siobhan's in the hospital. She had a car wreck with Elizabeth. They had to rush her to the OR. Oh my God, is she okay? I don't know. She's... Uh... She's still unconscious. Well, what, was Elizabeth hurt? I barely a scratch on her. Go figure, right? But uh, Siobhan's here all alone, and I have no idea where Lucky is. I'm thinking, I don't know, I don't want her to be alone right now. Okay, I'm on my way. Siobhan was frantic with worry that if you were on a drug bust, you might slip up and start using again. So you told her that I, I'd been shot up? Yeah. yeah she was afraid that that you had done it yourself, and, and I told her that it wasn't you, that it was, it was somebody else, and she told me that I was being naive. Did, did she tell anyone? No. No, but she wanted to. She wanted to call the police and the hospital and anybody else that could track you down. She was pretty mad at me for not giving you medical attention. And Dante is really worried about you, too. What? What would Dante know? Yes, but he's not going to say anything. However, he's not really convinced that you didn't do this to yourself. How did he find out? You don't remember? Uh, he came to the alley. Uh, no, it was really blurry. I mean, I remember you being there. I left you with him to go get the medication, and you freaked out and attacked him. Oh, my God. Is he okay? Yes, he's fine. <sighs> okay, so what about Siobhan? Is that why she was in the car with you? We were in the warehouse on Dock Street. I found your cell phone in there. At some point, you must have wandered through. Siobhan followed me. We were on a landing, had an argument, and she fell down a flight of stairs. It was an accident. I guess why are you have to believe me.
for Siobhan Spencer and her sister-in-law. Okay. Thank God you're okay. Have you seen Siobhan? I was just gonna look for... Wait, wait, were you just limping? It's nothing. Look, excuse me. Um, you have Siobhan Spencer's room. I'm, I'm her husband. Okay, can you do me a favor and not disappear like that again? You weren't answering your phone. No one knew where you were. Okay, I can't get into this right now. What's her room number? The lucky was on a stakeout and he turned his phone off. But you two came together. How did you know where he... How did you even know where to find him? Your wife is in room 1040. Okay, now how is she? I'll paint the doctor. No, no, no. Just, just read me something from her chart, okay? Are you sure you're okay? Siobhan was in a car wreck and she had emergency surgery. How the hell do you think I'm doing? Well, if I didn't know better, I'd think you're on something. Lucky, go see Siobhan. I'll talk to Lulu. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I forget what I said. I think you should see Siobhan, and if you need anything... Yeah, what I need is for you to just say what you're thinking. Well, you're working a prescription drug case. Do you think that's a good idea? I can handle it. You've been doing it for one night, and you look like hell. I'm undercover. I mean, I, I need to look the part, okay. you know? Well, given your history, do you blame me for being a little concerned? I've been hearing that from too many people. Well, then maybe that's something that you need to take into it's consideration. It's my job. Lulu, can you at least give me some credit for conducting an investigation in a professional manner? Defensive much? He's been up all night. He's really worn out. So this doesn't concern you? I I'm being supportive. Some would call it enabling. You know, it's called undercover work. For a reason, like I said, I need to blend in, I need to sell the part. It doesn't mean I'm living it. Okay, you want me to back off, I'll back off. Yeah, that's exactly what I would like, thank you. And you know what, just because you didn't find Dad doesn't mean you should go looking for him in me, okay? I am not my father. And I never will be. What the hell did you do to Jack? So you saw Lucky just now, what'd you think? I think he's worried sick about his wife. It looks like he's been on a bender. He's sleep-deprived and disheveled. Yeah, that's kind of par for the course when you're working in the cover, exactly right? what he tried to tell me, that he's doing his job and I should give him credit for being a professional. But alarm bells are going off in my head because Elizabeth is jumping to his defense saying that he didn't have his phone on and, and he's been up all night. I... Well, Elizabeth trusts him, okay? That's old news. Yeah, but she's not the least bit concerned that he's involved in a prescription drug case. And how did she know where he was when the rest of us didn't? Yeah, I guess that does raise a question or two. You think? Well, <laughs> Lucky's addiction broke up their marriage. I mean, why would Elizabeth cover for him? Because of the same reason I enabled Dad. I wanted to feel needed. 